Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed the Royal Humanitarian Foundation to assess claims and disperse aid accordingly for families who are affected by the rainfall in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser extended deepest thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the honorary president of the foundation, for his royal care in times of adversity. His Highness Sheikh Nasser, who is the Royal Humanitarian Foundation Board of Trustees Chairman, also commended the support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. For his part, the Foundation Secretary General, Dr. Mustafa Al Sayed, also paid tribute to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad for the humanitarian gesture. He announced that the Foundation would start receiving claims from affected families via its online portal, www.rhf.gov. .bh, stressing the need to attach the necessary documents. The Kingdom of Bahrain witnessed heavy rainfall accompanied by strong wind gusts at times for long periods. The governorate of the kingdom witnessed heavy thunderstorms. Citizens and residents received this with joy and happiness, rejoicing it with it at the beginning of the new year. For its part, the Med Department revealed the amount of rain that fell yesterday in various regions of the kingdom. Univers the University of Bahrain station reported the highest amount of precipitation amounting to 45.4 millimeters, while the lowest amount was recorded at the Bahrain International Circuit Station and reached 12.8 millimeters. The rain emergency teams at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning started suctioning the rain water that fell. The ministry stated that the rain emergency teams distributed to the four governorates, according to plans so far, it has not stopped in carrying out its tasks and implementing the action plan, and it continues to receive communications from citizens and to work in it. The Ministry of Works said that during the last period, it updated the database and information for the past years and priorities were set according to its data and according to its field statements to do the necessary. The ministry praised the role of the governorates, the civil defense and the traffic department, stressing that coordination is ongoing with all parties. Meanwhile, the Met Directorate said that more thundery showers are on the way and weathermen say its temperatures in Bahrain are likely to drop to as low as 13 degrees Celsius. It warned of unsettled weather today and tomorrow tomorrow, with strong gusts of wind reaching 30 knots at times, causing rough seas. Inspectors from the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue today inspected 111 shops and commercial establishments in a number of vital commercial areas. During the inspection campaign, 77 violations were detected that required imposition of administrative fines of up to 10,000 Bahraini dinars. According to the value-added law, and which resulted to the closure of two precautionary stores as a result of non-compliance with the application of value-added tax, and accordingly, legal measures will be taken against the violating facilities. The Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism and the National Bureau for Revenue urged establishments to adhere to the implementation of the mechanisms of the transition transitional phase of value added and to deal efficiently and consciously in order to achieve the proper application of value added tax law. For its part, the National Authority for Revenue stressed the importance of the efforts of all concerned parties for the success of the various stages of implementation, calling on consumers and all citizens and residents to submit complaints while noticing any violations or abuses of the value added law or the application of value added at its modified basic rate through the official communication channels of the authority. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly commends the launch by the terrorist Houthi militia of three drones towards the southern region of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, praising the vigilance and efficiency of the coalition forces to support the legitimacy in Yemen, which were able to intercept and destroy the aircraft. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs reiterates the support of the Kingdom of Bahrain to all the measures taken by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to maintain its security and stability, stressing the terrorist acts carried out by the Houthi militia in a systematic and deliberate manner constitutes a blatant attack on the sovereignty, stability and territorial integrity of the brotherly kingdom of Saudi Arabia. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain completed 8 million laboratory tests for the coronavirus since the tests were launched in February of the year 2020. This is due to the direct response by all segments of society who headed to approved health centers to conduct a corona test, which would lead to reducing the number of infections, containing them and detecting contacts in addition to maintaining health security levels in society within its safe limits. In the same co context, the Kingdom is making remarkable progress in providing the third booster dose amid an international trend to take the dose and based on the recommendations of the national medical team to address the coronavirus. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,203,427 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,178,471 had taken the second, and 848,039 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and to take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 3,782 with 156 recoveries, 615 registered new cases and no new deaths. 167 of the new registered cases are of expats, 343 are contacts of active cases and 105 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.